Hi folks, it's Andy. Welcome back to The Kendo Show. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, today we are picking up on our series of short form uh, instructional videos of specific techniques or waza. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a great waza, a very um, popular one. In fact, it's two waza in one video. Um, <clears throat> and that's because they are very uh, closely linked together. They're very, very popular techniques. We're looking at men, nukido, and men kaishido. This is where the opponent attacks our men and we return with a door strike. There's two ways to do it and we're going to look at that um, today. So before we jump into it though, you do need to hear what I'm about to say next. The first is of course that uh, all of the things that I'm showing and teaching in this video are things that are based on my own experience uh, and off what I've been uh, taught by my teachers over the years. Um, to qualify my position right now as recording this video, uh, I hold the, the rank of uh, Nenshi Sikhdan in Kendo. Don't really like talking about that on these videos to be honest because it's not that relevant, but still, uh, that's the point of view I'm coming from. I lived in Japan for almost 10 years learning Kendo, so that's that's my sort of approach. I had lots of different senses all over the country, uh, including some really top level ones, uh, participated in some international tournaments, stuff like that. Um, so that's my sort of thing. That's because people often ask me about it. So don't ask me that because that's that. <laughs> um, if your teacher in your dojo uh, tells you otherwise or tells you something different that I'm showing you in these videos, then of course you should follow the advice and instruction from your own teacher. Okay, don't go to them and say, well, Andy Fisher on YouTube said this or something like that. Okay, so follow the advice of your teacher. Secondly, um, or thirdly, I've stopped counting. Uh, <laughs> the next point is, of course, if you don't agree with what uh, I'm saying in this video, um, if you don't like the particular way I've carried out the waza, if you don't like the angle of my sword or the way I'm holding the shinai or anything like that, that's totally fine. You do not have to emulate it. You don't have to follow it. Uh, you also don't have to write to me and tell me about how you don't like it. Other than that, <laughs> finally, uh, if you do like the videos that I put out, if you do like um, the content that I'm putting in, you'd like to support us creating more, of course you can like, share, subscribe, um, but also, most importantly, you can shop at kendostar.com. Uh, that's the Kendo equipment supplier that I own, of course, uh, that provides fantastic equipment all around the world. And we're the best in the business. So if you don't believe me, check out our Trustpilot rating. Uh, that's an independent reviews aggregate. You can see how we're the best rated online. We've got loads of cool stuff, whether it's a uh, Borger, the armor, or a Shinai, uh, even down to sort of Tenegui. Look at this one. This is a cool Tenegui that we have. Uh, this is original to Kendo Star. Strike first, always win. Sente his show. Uh, color scheme in no way inspired by any popular television shows. Men Kaishido is one of the most popular uh, audio waza or uh, defensive techniques in Kendo. However, one that's often overlooked is Men Nukido. Today we're going to look at both of those techniques uh, because they're very, very closely linked with each other. And if you can master Nukido, then your Kaishido will become much more successful. So first we'll have a quick look at Men Nukido and then we'll talk about Men Kaishido. So, the concept of this one is when our opponent strikes, we're going to use our footwork to move slightly forward and diagonal, diagonally to our right, so we evade the strike. Okay, so let's look at that part first of all. When she comes to strike, uh, so we, all I need to do is move myself very slightly out of the way, and uh, she will uh, miss strike. Okay? One more time. I don't need to move this way in any way whatsoever. Just do step with my body. I keep my posture. Okay? One more time. This way. Okay? At the same time as doing this, we're going to make a short, sharp strike to the door. Okay? Short, sharp strike to the door. Nice and slowly. This way, okay? You don't need to hit it hard because they're coming at us with quite a lot of momentum. So just accuracy is fine. One time. Okay? For our footwork, as we make the strike, this is how I like to do the main door. Lots of people uh, will. Um, Lots of people will try to add the humikomi. 
Okay, because we learned the basic door strike with Fumikomi. So you don't need it for this, this ladder. Okay? If I try to do Fumikomi this way, it's all going to become disjointed. I don't really have the time for Fumikomi. Okay? <coughs> so, instead, I'm going to use Suryashi and I'm going to use Ayumiyashi. So slowly, this way. Okay? We've seen this footwork before. This is in the Kendo Kata. The Kendo no Kata. We have uh, this strike from the Ustati, and the Ustati does this way. Okay? We know this one, yeah? This is the same concept for our men and people. The footwork is the same, but we're going to move a little bit faster and we're not going to drop to our knee, okay? From here, this way, okay? It's the same concept. It can be hard to move the shinai quickly in that short space, so it's okay to draw the left hand closer to the right in order to have a, uh, uh, an easier motion of the shinai. The way I like to do it is I'll push my right foot out first, as they come to strike, my shinai comes around to strike doors, I step through on the left, and then forward with uh, okuriyashi or ayumiyashi, okay? Nice and slowly, this way, okay? Sometimes you have to take your left hand off the shinai after striking, after striking. This is okay, but it must return to you afterwards. Okay, you mustn't strike with one hand in this respect, okay? I get this force. <laughs> Not like this, okay? So, the last point that's very important on this is if I wait for the strike to come, I will definitely be hit, okay? I wait for the strike to come. Yeah. Oh, there's no way I'll be able to make the strike, okay? I'll either receive the strike or my strike will be too late and not be accurate. I have to encourage the strike from my partner. Okay, I have to get them to attack me. This is a little bit like the Banamaza, okay? The Banamaza. So from here, yeah, come on! Okay, and this is giving me the chance for the main Nuki Dog, okay? Let's see if I try and pull three. Yeah! Okay? So, it's difficult to get the timing. That's why you must control the timing by getting them to strike. Okay? One last time. Yeah. This way. Okay? One common mistake is to try to move too far to the side to avoid the men's strike. If you just come this way so that they can see a bit, so that when she makes a strike, I try to move too far. Okay, then my strike isn't accurate, it's not correct strike. Instead, instead, I want to aim for shoulder to shoulder, about shoulder to shoulder. Okay? One more time, one last time. Yeah. Okay? Then you go. This is how to do this all. The next step from this is men kaishido. I recommend you practice men nukido before you practice men kaishido heavily. This is because men nukido is the it is somewhat more difficult than men kaishido. <coughs> also, more importantly, if you understand the basics and the mechanics of men kaishido, uh, men nukido, your men kaishido will become much more successful. So, for men kaishido. This uh, principle is very much the same. Slowly, as she comes to strike, instead of me uh, dodging or moving, I don't use the word dodging, I'm not dodging this way, but instead of moving out the way or evading, I deflect the strike and then I return with a strike of my own to the door. Very slowly. Okay, the me mechanics are very similar, uh, but Instead of making the strike uh, straight away, 
the, we take it's like a, a split second later. Okay, this is more um, if you don't have the time or the chance to do the menu key or it doesn't work well with the opponent that you're with. Okay, I mustn't bring my hands up this way to make this kind of strike. It's not like this. Okay, it's forward door. Okay, forward door. Almost, my feeling is, again, I want them to attack me so that I can do the swap down. So I almost want them to try to do the divan again. If she wants to do the divan again, she's going to hit me as soon as she feels like I'm ready to strike. Yeah? She's going to do the divan again. Okay? As soon as she thinks I'm ready to strike, she's going to do the divan again. This is the same feeling. This is almost the feeling I want them to have in that I'm going to go. Okay, my hands are almost coming up as if I'm going up again, and then I'm going to change the door. What I don't want to do is wait and lean back or stop this way as I try to block. I'm going to kind of slowly this way. Well, I'll never be able to do the kaiju strike. Nice and slowly, instead. Okay, same idea. Okay, with Nuki door. We did this way with Kaishido. As I push my right foot out, I make the block, and again my shinai comes on my left foot coming through. Yeah. Okay. What makes uh, one quick point on the main Kaishido? Lots of people often ask me, why was my main Kaishido not Ippon? <laughs> why was it not Ippon? And it's because what makes the kaijido ippon uh, versus the kaijido that's not ippon is the timing and opportunity that it's made. Okay, if I make it as a strike where I didn't take the initiative, I didn't initiate the encounter, then it doesn't count as ippon. If I'm in my own little world in a way, <laughs> and then when she attacks, oh, like this. This is not the main kaijido ippon. Even though I deflected the strike, even though I made a strike to the door. Yeah? If you notice, that was in a two-step rhythm as well. One, two. One, two. Plus me like this. One. One. Okay? But that can only happen if you're in control. Instead, I have to make sure that the situation is happening because I engineered it to. From here again. Okay, this is clearly the Shin Fang can see. She attacked me then because I was going to do the main Kai Shido. Okay, she didn't know that. <laughs> That's the uh, basic premise. Nukido, it's much easier to see that. That's why you often see Nukido is almost always awarded the bond in Shi'ai if it's done successfully, whereas Kai Shido is not. Okay, because the uh, opportunity. Has to be there. To recap, Ben Nukido, Suri Ashi got from Nikomi. As she comes to the strike, I stay close. I don't move out of the way. I keep my posture. I don't bend this way. Okay, often you see this one, right? You often see this one. Yeah, this isn't the, this isn't the correct way. Okay, you won't get a good strike. Keep a good posture. Strike the correct part, flexible wrists, move our hands back to the shinai as soon as we can for that shin. Men, Kaishido, again, create a good opportunity. Single motion strike, and we don't wait. Okay, we don't just, we don't just wait and try to block. This way. Okay, you see this one a lot. Okay, so the cross, it's not how we do it. Okay, we have to make sure we're making the the chance. Okay? And this is where. Oh. And that's how to do Menukido and Men Kaisido. So, how did you find that? Did you find uh, the Men Nukido and Men Kaishido two fantastic waza? I really enjoy uh, using these waza. They're quite difficult uh, to master, of course, um, but they are uh, very, very useful against opponents that like to attack men. Um, let me know what you thought in the comment down below. Like, share, subscribe. Shop at Kendo Star if you'd like to see more videos like this. And I'll see you all in the next episode.